Welcome back to Vikings Game Plan. Paul Allen, radio partner Pete Bursich. Of course, we are excited for the border battle, and we are excited to watch some Green Bay Packers defensive film because that team just held the NFC North champions to zero touchdowns at Soldier Field. Is Green Bay's defense that good? Well, I, I think it's a bit of both. I, mean, I think Green Bay defense has some new opportunities, do some different things. They were very active. They showed some different looks to the Bears. But the Bears did leave a lot of offense on the table, so we'll take a look at that. Take a look at these plays. First thing, you always want to talk about the guys up front, right? Kenny Clark. Kenny Clark is a rare talent, and I think when you look at the Vikings and you look at Garrett Bradbury in a, in a brand new rookie center, this is him going against Jeff Daniels. Now, Paul, there are only a handful of men on this planet that can do this. When what I mean is take on a center, close this gap right here, and then still be able to get himself across the face and make the tackle for a very, very small gain. So that kind of talent up front is always going to be good for the Green Bay. So defensively, yes, they have some good players. Now, this is the other side, this is the other side of Kenny Clark. First, he beats you with power. Yeah. Then he uses finesse. You'll see all of these, these D linemen are looping. They're all kind of doing the same thing. And, and we should mention James Daniels did not play center or much center for them last year. So this is new for him. It is. And so he's going to be, he's going to be fired up to play against a rookie. I guarantee you that. But to have this quickness and this ability to not only swim the blocker, but he's keeping his shoulders square and he's able to get downhill yeah. and make a play in the backfield. Cordero Patterson. <laughs> so that you have the size and speed. Not many guys have the power to beat somebody physically yep. and then to be able to finesse it on the next play. Preston Smith penetration Newbie. by the Bears defense. So this is one of those new bodies. Yeah. Not, he, he moves very well and he's, he's jetting up in there to try to get a hand he's on the reverse. Yes, he is. But when we go to the end zone, you're going to see again. This is this is Clark right here. Yeah. Standing up, by the way. Yeah. So it's kind of it's gonna have to be a bit of a where's wall though. In a different position, not at nose. So this is again the kind of the the kinks and the changes that the Green Bay Packer defense is throwing at the Bears. But once again, he's able to penetrate one on one. You may have to put two bodies on him, but he gets wow. on an edge, but he interrupts the shovel pass. Yeah. The tight end is trying to get underneath. The Bears are trying to run something to slow down the pass rush. That's nice. But you get too, you get too much penetration, you slow down the tight end, yeah. and it turns into whether or not he got the first down, but it could have been a sack for the, for the Green Bay Packers. So their activity and their size up front is big. The dollar defense, okay? This is something that they talked about during the week. You see six DBs, right? Six DBs on the field. You want to match speed with speed. But when you have a Zadarius Smith on the inside able to make moves like this, we saw this with Matt Ryan in our oh. game. Quarterbacks are not as good when they're getting pummeled. Yeah. So an incomplete pass, really one thrown in double, almost triple coverage, is caused by this. Again, the swim. But you look at the front. Two linebackers standing. You only have two defensive linemen, two guys in three-point stances. They're giving you this kind of an even, odd type of a look where the offensive line isn't really sure which way they want to go. And you get the swim move, get to the back, put a hit on the quarterback. That causes an errant pass. So And, and Zadarius Smith is identified as an outside guy who comes from the edge. So when you do that, that's unbelievable. Absolutely. Whenever you have that kind of physical talent underneath, that kind of length and ability to make those kind of moves, and any interior pass rush is great because it's the fastest way to get to the quarterback. Now we talk about missed opportunities by the Chicago Bears. Running off tackle, just a little pitch. Mm. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you should practice all day long. You get the pitch, you fumble the football, you leave it on the ground, right? Opportunity for the Packers to get the turnover. What you don't see is what was there. This play, oh. had he not fumbled the football, he might have made his way all the way to the end zone. It was one-on-one, wow. -on -one, all he had to do was beat the safety. Yeah. So a play that was very well designed, very well executed, but you don't have 11 guys doing their job. You fumble the handoff, and you miss a, a tremendous opportunity like the Bears did right here. So I think what we're seeing is with all this new with Green Bay's defense, it definitely is better than it has been, but maybe not as good as everybody saw on Thursday Night Football.